Welcome back to my channel Adam's Adventures and in today's video I have arrived and explored what's left of Sandal Castle just on the outskirts of Wakefield, West Yorkshire. The most notorious history about this castle is of course the War of the Roses which lasted around 30 years battle between the Lancashire and Yorkshire regions where Richard Duke of York was killed of which he was trying to claim the throne rights. However, let's go back a little further where the Warrenness family was the first to have reign over the territories of Yorkshire and started to replace these finest structure of its old form from wooden moat and bailey into stonework castles and made it fortified as possible from 1107 where the assets of the castle was given to William the Warrenan, 2nd Earl of Surrey. Just to give a small brief on the Warrenness, they had the most been successful up until 1347 and most of the earls that ran the castle of which they owned came from 7th types of royalty of the family. The castle in Edward's third family haven't really spent much of its 75 years of lifetime at Sandal as his son Edmund of Langley was granted Walker Castle near Coldstream in the Scottish borders and in 1377 Fothenhay Castle in Northamptonshire which became his home just leaving the castle to the constables or stewards around the area. In 1385 Edmund was made of Duke of York as a reward for his support of his nephew Richard II of England he was succeeded by his son, also Edward, who campaigned in Ireland and died at the Battle of Asian Court in 1415. Edward was succeeded by his nephew, Richard Plantanet, 3rd Duke of York. Early in 1460, during the Wars of the Roses, Richard made a bid for the throne. He was initially not well received, but an act of accord made in October 1460 recognised him as heir to the throne and named him protector of the realm. In December, Richard went to Sandal Castle either to consolidate his position or to counter Lancastrian descent. He had an army of 3,000 to 8,000 men, but on 30th December, in the Battle of Wakefield, he was outnumbered and outmanoeuvred by the Queen's Margaret's army coming from nearby Pontefract. Richard suffered a crushing defeat and both he and his younger son Edmund, Earl of Rutland, were killed. Although only two months later Richard's eldest son Edward became king. The castle's last brush with royalty came in 1483 when Richard's eighth son and twelfth child Richard III chose it to a northern base and ordered significant investments. This hope was short lived however as Richard was killed in the Battle of Bosworth in 1485. After this the castle was maintained a little but gradually declined with the building of Wakefield Prison in the 1590s leaving it even less useful. During the English Civil War Sandal Castle was royalist. Although its neglected state left it out of major conflicts in 1645 however it was besieged at least three times by parliamentary troops Butler reaccounts having been assured that they would receive a safe passage to Welbeck House in North Nottinghamshire they surrendered the castle at 10 o'clock on 1st October 1645 the garrison was then 10 officers and 90 men in the two of them called seniors implying that they were professional soldiers rather than just non-commissioned officers. They also surrendered 100 muskets, 50 pikes, 20 halberds, 150 swords and 2 barrels of gunpowder. No pieces of artillery are mentioned. As a result of this capitulation, only Bolton Castle in Wensleydale and Skipton Castle remain in royalist hands in Yorkshire, but Sandal was the most resolute of all the three northern garrisons and its fall caused great rejoicing among the parliamentary forces. By the siege's end, it was a ruin. 
the following year, parliamentary ordered that it made it untenable. The ruins were a source of stone for local building and became a place for locals to relax. They were depicted in the foreground of a drawing of Wakefield from the south of Samuel Buck in 1719 or 1722. And in 1753, an engraving was published of an Elizabethan survey drawing. The ruins were first excavated by the Yorkshire Archaeology Society in 1893. A more detailed project began in the summer of 1964 and was a partnership between Wakefield Corporation, Wakefield Historical Society and the University of Leeds. This project started as an experiment in adult education, but with the help of over a hundred local volunteers, it grew into a complete and rigorous excavation that continued for nine years. While excavating the Bailey, archaeologists found remains of flint tools suggesting a Mesolithic encampment was there in about 5000 BC. In 2003, a wooden walkway was provided to allow access to the summit of the Mott without causing erosion. A visitor centre has constructed about 110 yards from the castle. There have been historic reactments and living history days, including commemoration of the Battle of Wakefield and the deaths of Richard, Duke of York and his son Edmund. In February 2015, Wakefield Council announced that due to budget constraints, they were considering plans to either close the visitor centre or reduce its opening hours. The castle is a scheduled monument, which means it is nationally important, historic building and archaeology site which was been given protection against unauthorised change. It is a Grade 2 listed building. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more adventures in the near future.